Hey Posse's and you're the baddest. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we get into all things Martha's Vineyard, Summer House, the black version. We doing all the things. I reviewed it last season and I'm back again. I'm trying to decide if I want to be on camera or voiceover. Y'all let me know and tell me if you like this vibe. It's, it's giving FaceTime. It's giving my best friends. So go ahead and subscribe because you're going to want to be my best friend after we get into this rundown. I guarantee you that. So getting straight into episode one, all the people are coming back, and I was just so surprised about how good this episode was. Like, did you think this episode was good? I thought like it was really good. So first off, the first thing that I noticed was Amir got a girlfriend. Okay, next, we we really don't care. We really don't want the recipe to your mom's peach cobbler. <laughs> but are we surprised about how Amir girlfriend looks? We're not surprised, are we? I know I wasn't. So... Brie is the first one in the house, of course, and I'm holding my phone because I got all my notes on my phone. Let's see. So Brie is the first one in the house, like the baby she is. Okay, do you like Bria? Because I do. Like, she does get on my nerves sometimes, but I actually really like Bria. And she's the first one in the house, and the house is different, and it's big. So what do we think about the house? I was so surprised to see that room with, like, the bunk beds, and I knew they were going to give that to the guys, which, I mean, it kind of makes sense, so... Moving right along, Jasmine comes in the house and she's not with Silas. Thank God. Like, thank God Silas is not coming back because he really ruined the show last year for me. I literally did not like this girl's husband. And I'm so glad that he's not here. She left him at the cage. She left him at home in a cage. And oh my God. Hopefully this season would be good. So we see that Jordan and Jasmine have this slight beef going on. And it's really weird but it's not weird because we all know why like Jasmine is as acting like so confused on like how her and Jordan's relationship has changed but it's kind of like we know why it changed because you brought your man and you and your man were just so weird and everybody like it wasn't just Jordan everybody on the show was saying that Jasmine acted completely different than how she acts and it was it because it was a show or was it because she just got married and now she's in this new wife role and she's trying to figure things out. Um, and Jasmine was like, well, now Summer and Jordan are besties. And Jordan is like, I don't know if me and Jasmine will be the same. And I, I don't know. How do y'all think? How would y'all handle y'all's friend in this situation? Because I personally don't think that Jasmine and Jordan will be the same at all because it's like, if somebody, if my friend has a man and, like, I don't like their man, I mean, I could be cordial, but, like, it seems like Jordan doesn't seem to be, like, that type of friend that's, like, cordial, and she's okay with kind of being slightly uncomfortable. So, I don't know how that's going to work out, but Shanice comes to the house, girl, and I'm like, here we go, Miss Trainwreck herself. I mean, Shanice is a great time. Like, I like her. But she definitely stirs up a lot of stuff because she's just so off the hinges that I'm like, I'm sure we're in for a ride this season, honey. And she's in the house full time. Like, I know the Shanans are going to Shanann because Shanice is in the building. So, of course, Shanice comes in. She's like, oh, let me get my uh, bikini on. Let me get my drinks flowing where the shots at. And Jasmine is like, oh, I'm not drinking. I'm a mocktail mommy. And I'm like, boo, boring. But honestly, we already know that Jasmine is probably going to come out pregnant on the show. She's pregnant. I think she literally just had her baby, honestly. So we know why. So we can just scurry on over that. So Preston comes in the house. And Preston is my favorite on the show, honestly. I really like Jordan, but I really love Preston. Like, he's just so cool. He come in here with his outfit on, his uh, nails painted. Like, he is just that guy okay and it's so funny because the girls saved him a room for himself so he doesn't have to sleep in the guys and i say y'all real y'all real that is i love that best friend gay best friend dynamic between like men and women it's like we really be locked in like i really 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 appreciated that from the girls i thought that was so funny and we know the guys is gonna be upset once they realize what actually happens so it's so funny how like throughout the we see throughout the the year that happened there's cliques that have formed new friendships and i'm just so excited to see everybody's dynamic oh my god so they said that they went to jamaica like some of them went to who went to jamaica preston summer jordan and shanice went to jamaica 
They everyone has been on different trips with each other, been to different events, and Jasmine has been excluded. But we're gonna get into that. Nick and Amir are now like close. They have a bromance, and I just love a bromance. Okay, Amir is talking about how his girlfriend is like gonna beat up anybody who's on her man, and he doesn't have googly eyes for anybody. And I'm just like, and even the girls talked about this. They talked about how like they really didn't like Amir's girlfriend, which I, again I'm not surprised. Like. I feel like the type that she comes off to be just by looks and how the girls describe her is like the type of girl that I think Amir would date, so I wasn't surprised. So, we have a new person in the house. We have Noelle, and I'm like, how did y'all feel about Noelle? I actually noticed her because I worked in media, so I was like, I've seen this girl before. She's really pretty, and I think I'm gonna like her. She has, she brings a southern twist, because most people, like, they came from LA or New York, and since she's from Atlanta, I'm like, okay, this girl got some swag. She got some flavor to her. She got some spice. I'm really excited. I think she's going to be a great addition. I'm really excited to see what she brings to the house. I feel like she's going to bring a lot of fun. But all first impressions, I really, really like her. I feel like she kind of played her part as the new person in the house. I really, really appreciated that. I feel like she can read the room. And, yeah, I feel like I'm going to like Noelle. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Noelle because, a new face is hard when you, you know, you already adjusted to a cast, but like, let me know what y'all thought. And then of course you have Jasmine coming in here and talking about some so no way, like, who do you like in the group? And I'm like, Jasmine, can, can girls get in a house and get settled before you try to hook them up with somebody? Like, sometimes we don't want to talk about relationships. Sometimes we don't want to be hooked up. Sometimes we, we just, she just came in the door. Don't you agree? Like, Jasmine always trying to hook somebody up with somebody. Like, worry about your marriage and your man cussing you out every five minutes. Pump the brakes. And so when Jasmine asks Noelle this, of course, Noelle's like, oh, I've seen Alex. I'm kind of peeping at Alex. But we already know that Alex and Summer have a situation. And I have a lot to say about that. But let's, let's, let's. So Preston has this situation with his father, and that's the whole thing. I'm sure we're going to navigate that more in episode two. And our favorite furry friend, Milo, is back. He's back, and he's in the building, and he's finally being accepted. I love that, but, I mean, I love dogs. So Milo is just so cute. Let me know. Would you let your – would you bring your dog with you on vacation? Because Milo is now part of the cast. How do y'all feel about that? <laughs> so let's get into this beef between – um, Alex and Summer. Okay. So clearly off rip, when Alex comes in the house, Summer is blown. Like she is not with it. She's like, he's a F boy. And she is just not with it. Off rip, I already knew that they were having sex because there's, as a woman, you're not that mad at a man for no reason. You're mad because y'all are having sex and something is going on. Okay. Clock that T. So she's basically, she airs out all the business. Okay, so at the Tails and Tails dinner, everyone's catching up. And basically, everybody at the table is mad because they they didn't get a certain invite to certain events. Everybody can't go everywhere. Everybody can't do everything. But everybody does want an invite because we're all friends. Like, I, I, get, I get both sides. So let's just get into Alex and Summer first because ah, it was crazy. Okay, so... Summer basically says that when she's in L.A., I mean, when she's in New York, she hits up Alex, they hang out. When Alex is in L.A., you know, they hit each other up. It's literally quite obvious that they are just messing around. And on Summer's point of view, she's kind of like, oh, well, we mess around. We should have, we have a certain level of love for each other, and I should get this personal invite to his music event, Okay. She basically was like at Jordan's house. She said they FaceTimed that morning and Alex had an event and didn't invite her, but he knew that she was in New York. First problem. I feel like men don't be paying attention like that. So you might have think that like, oh, he knows what Jordan's background look like. So he knows that I'm here. But if you are planning an event, if you're hosting an event, it was a day of, do you think that he was actually paying attention to your background or where you were going? Like, she could, like, I don't remember. Let me know in the comments down below. Did she tell Alex that she was in New York? And then also, as someone who throws events, I never send out my event to people personally because I don't want you to feel like, as my friend, you're obligated to come if you're not interested. 
So I usually just post that on social media. Like Alex said, like I post on social media. If you're subscribed, you got the email, you're invited. But she felt like she deserved a personal invite, which sometimes as friends, you want to get invited to everything, even if you can't go, even if you want to turn it down, even if you're not interested, just because like we cool. So it's like, I see both sides. But in my opinion, I think Summer was wrong. Because my thing is, if y'all are messing around, like, and it's, it's kind of like y'all are fuck buddies, so it's like a, what's understood don't need to be explained. Maybe Alex don't want to mix business and pleasure. Like, I feel like y'all are not on the same page. And in her, fashion, in her confessional, she was like, well, he said he's an F boy, and I'm just getting, I'm just getting the F. I don't see what's a big deal. But then when you, you real beefed up with him in person, and it's not like y'all just messing around. Like, you are taking things personal. And then to air it out on the table and be like, well, you've been inside me, but I can't get an invite to your event was like, oh, D. I was like, what did you think about that moment? Because, I don't know. I feel like if you mess around with somebody, like, I feel like these days, things aren't discreet anymore. And I I would just prefer to, like, if we just messing around, if we just fuck buddies, like, let it just be discreet. Even if we're in a group, it's kind of like a, if you know, you know. And clearly, mostly everybody knew because Alex said, well, why does everybody know? So everybody knows. But that doesn't mean we have to talk about it in person and in front of everybody. And you have to make that known. Like, why? Like, that is something private. I feel like it should stay private. So I'm taking Alex's side on this. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that situation. Because he was like, well, and then, okay, my thing is, he said, well, how did Nick know that we were messing around? Because Nick asked me, oh, what you what you and Summer doing in L.A.? And how did he know that I was with you? And she said, well, I sent him, a, I sent Jordan a picture of you. So I'm trying to figure out how did it go from I'm texting my homegirl a picture of this man that I'm hanging out with to Nick finding out, to Nick feeling like it's okay to hit me up and be like, oh, hey, what are you and Summer doing? The lines are blurry. So I'm like, is the problem start with Jordan because if I text my friend a picture of a man that's discreet and I'm like oh look at like like girls y'all y'all know how to be like hey girl like look at this man I'm hanging out with this man and then you show the picture to somebody else because they had the, they had the photo they had the receipts and he's like oh now you're taking pictures of me and like that was a big problem for me and I'm just like, I don't know, maybe Jordan felt like it was okay because they're all in a group. And it's just like, even though we're all in a big group, I just feel like something should just be like. And even if Jordan shared it to Nick, Nick shouldn't have said that. Like, there, there has to be a, a, like a disclaimer there. And I feel like there was not a disclaimer. Someone missed out on the communication. And Summer, it might have been, I don't know. I'm not on Summer's side. She was real beefed up behind this man for her just to be like, we're just fuck buddies and I don't care you and your fuck boy era you're not acting like you're okay with him being his fuck boy era and then she used the word love she was like I feel like we have a certain type of love for each other and he said that's a reach love is a reach and I get what she was saying she just saying that we should have a, a certain level of like friendship since we're on a different level but he was triggered by the word love which I understood because the way she was acting like which one isn't it's why I must pick, pick a side pick a side so what do y'all think happened in this situation like why do you think that Summer didn't get a personal invite? Like, why didn't Alex personally invite her? Do y'all think that Alex knew that she was in New York and just ignored her? Does he not want to mix business with pleasure? Like, why do you why do you think that she didn't get that invite? Like, what do y'all think happens? Let's clock it. Let's clock it. So again, um, this this whole dinner went to went to shit because Bria had her outburst, and when Amir said Bria is the only person who can cuss everybody out storm off and be like oh my god i'm sorry and come back that's the one thing i hate about bria like i just be like oh i don't have time for that when preston was going off on her i said yeah mm -hmm. do that please because she does she does a little too much she's on like a 15 and i just want her to bring it down to 10 and i feel like she would be okay but everybody was pretty pretty much mad because they didn't get invites to certain things jasmine was like i didn't get a jamaica invite i didn't get this invite and like it's just so crazy that like no one likes jasmine anymore and it's, it, and it's warranted. It really is. So day two comes and it's yacht day. And we see Silas on the episode for the first time. He's deployed and Jasmine and him are FaceTime. And I'm like, okay, cool. Next. At the boat party, 
Um, Jasmine confronts Jordan about their friendship, and Jordan is kind of like, I don't want to have this conversation on a boat. I'm trying to turn up. And I always feel like Jasmine approaches people at the wrong time. Like, we're trying to have fun. We're trying to turn up. Why are you here? Why? Like, you want to talk about things at the wrong time. Don't, do you agree? Like, I feel like, let me know in the comments down below. Like, I feel like she just always approach situations at the wrong time. And that may be a production, like, you know, setup, but it is really annoying because you're not trying to laugh in the place. You're trying to laugh in the place. Like, you're not trying to. The girls are trying to drive a boat, and you trying to be Dr. Phil, like she said. That's annoying. So, with this situation, though, I see both sides because Jordan feels like she can't trust Jasmine because Jasmine switched up. She was acting different last season. She tried to act prim and proper like she was a perfect wife, and she was clocking uh, Jordan's body and being single and this and that. So, it's like, of course, I'm going to have this wall up because of what you've been doing over the past year. But I do feel like Jasmine was being vulnerable with Jordan and trying to be like, hey, I'm coming to you as a best friend. Tell me if I'm doing something. Tell me. Like, I'm trying to be open and honest. It's just like they are not on the same page. And I think it's going to take a little bit more time, a little bit more time spent, a t more time to, like, really talk and be vulnerable about what happened. Um, I think Jordan needs to be a little bit more open when, like, talking to Jasmine and Jasmine has to let people process how they feel and figure it out before, like, being beat up, like, okay, let's talk now. Like, some people might not might not be ready to talk right then and there. And I think that's their problem. Jordan seems kind of over it to me. So, I honestly don't know if I have faith in this relationship. I really don't. Because I feel like Jasmine may have pushed Jordan too far gone. And, like, she kind of found her new friends. And it's kind of like... Yeah. So, yeah, I just think the friendships in this season are going to be tested and tried even more than season one. I feel like we're going to get to know the characters, well, the people a little bit more. Um, I think that Summer and Summer needs to move with a different type of decorum. I feel like even though we're friends and we may be, you know, having sex, I think there needs to be a certain type of decorum there, like a certain type of privacy, like, mm. I think Jordan and Jasmine need to be both a little, be a little bit more vulnerable with each other to mend their relationship. And I like the new girl Noelle. And I'm just excited to see the season. Even like the preview for episode two looks good. Like they are kicking it off. So if you want to stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing reviews. Shout out to the Peacock crew. Next day watchers, baby. Next day. <laughs> I will be watching on Mondays and hopefully getting these videos up on Tuesday. Follow me on TikTok. I may do some reviews there as well. Follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Passio.